The Atlanta Falcons beat Dallas 39-28 Sunday in the Cowboys' first game without Tony Romo and Des Bryant. The Cowboys, now 2-1, had a six-game regular season win streak snapped. It truly was a tale of two halves for the Cowboys' rushing attack especially. Now look at these numbers. In the first half, they ran all over the Falcons, rushing 16 times for over 130 yards with four scores. Three by Joseph Randall, one TD by Darren McFadden. In the second half, they rushed just five times for negative four yards and no score. Skip, I am very eager to hear this. How confident are you in your Cowboys now? You all right, man? I'm not all right, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I, I must admit, I'm still pretty shook up from what I saw yeah. in the second half. Yeah, yeah. And just give me a moment here to try to work through it on the air, on live TV. I'm going to try to work through my emotions. I okay. want okay. you to know. All right, because they're rubble right you now. You can take up my okay. time. All right. Take your Thank time. You. Please. To answer Molly's question, my confidence is shaken, but not broken, because I still believe my Cowboys can win the NFC East because I don't trust any of those three other teams enough to say, uh-oh, we're in big trouble. And I must tell you, I didn't like what I saw in the first half. I flat out loved it, which is why I went from all-time elation to deflation. Would it have really helped to bank a win to get to 3-0? and you, you better believe it would have helped, Stephen A., because you know what's coming. Not, nothing good is coming except no Romo and no Dez. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to tell you that you all right, Molly? Mm -hmm. Okay. All yep. Right. Okay. I'm here to tell you, so just, just give me a second, okay, yep. that in all my years of covering my Dallas Cowboys or even watching them back to the time I was 10 years old, in all my years of covering the National Football League back to the 70s, I do not remember a single game I've watched in which a home team completely dominated the first half and then got even more dominated on their home turf in the second half. I've never seen anything quite like that. Mm -hmm. So when, when I look at Brandon Whedon's offense scored 28 in the first half and Joseph Randall and Darren McFadden absolutely ran wild on the Atlanta Falcons. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? I'm taking that to the, no, I'm not taking it to the bank. At halftime, I cannot tell you how confident I was. They could even win a shootout with Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. I'm thinking, hey, we could score 40 here. Maybe it'll take 45, but we're capable of doing it with this offensive line which no-showed in the second half and got its golden tails kicked all the way back into the locker room by the Atlanta defense. Mm -hmm. Minus four yards rushing in the second half? Again, you, you can't have it both ways because they did pretty much abandon the run, but after a while they didn't have any choice. So you can't condemn Brandon Whedon for not throwing the ball downfield because all any of us really wanted was for them to run the football in the second half and eat the clock. Mm -hmm. And I look at Brandon Whedon. Tell me this, if I told you on Friday that Brandon Whedon would go 22 of 26 for 232 with only one interception, I know it was a killer, but it was only one, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say, wow, that's pretty good, you got a shot. If I told you we would run the ball for 127 yards, wouldn't you say, hey, I don't know, that combination, that's, that's pretty good. And we got blown off our own field. What happened to me? I thought, okay, let, let me just first say this. Matt Ryan to Julio Jones is a special connection right now to where they're going to do that to everybody they face because they've already done it to three teams. Mm -hmm. Remember Matt Stafford to Megatron the last five or six years? Nobody had any more confidence than Matt Stafford had in Megatron. He no longer has that confidence because Calvin's no longer Megatron, right? So we saw last night on Sunday Night Football, Matt Stafford's starting to look pretty ordinary yes, to me, right? Okay, in this case, Matt Ryan, who I'm not the biggest fan of, is starting to look like Tom Brady because all he does is drop back and look for Levin. Where's Levin? Oh, I'll just throw it over there. It's triple coverage. Nobody cares. Just throw it in his direction, and he will go snatch it, and he will run with it. That's hard to deal with. And then, listen, you're, you're going to scoff at this, but my sack leader from last year, Jeremy Mincy, wound up getting a concussion in the warm-ups at Philadelphia, or so he said. He played the Philly game. He practiced this week. Then at game time, they decide, we better hold you out. That's my sack leader from last year. Now, 
the Cowboys are down to their fourth right defensive end. Well, they got Matt Ryan one time, no, no defensive lineman got to him. Sean Lee got to him once. And speaking of Sean Lee, for a crucial stretch of the second half, Sean Lee got his lip busted and had to go get stitches, and he was gone for several crucial series in the second half. He's all I got left on defense, okay? And I told you Ron Leary, my starting left guard, would play because they said all week he's going to play. He did not play yesterday. So now we're down to Lyle Collins, who's he's pretty good, but he's a rookie. So all of a sudden, it just cratered, just like it did last year at home against San Francisco and Washington on Monday Night Football. Remember that debacle? And then the Eagles on Thanksgiving night at Jerry World. Remember that debacle? This team can be terrible at home, but I thought off the first half that I liked what I saw. So I'm, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to still say my glass is barely half full, but the second half, Listen, I was just reeling from it because my jaw stayed on the, the floor the whole second half. Go ahead. I want you to have more time mm -hmm. because I need an answer to a particular question that I have not got from you, to be quite honest with you. And that beautiful soliloquy that you just mm -hmm. put out there. Sean Lee's gone. Leary's gone. Um, Mincy. Mincy. Mm -hmm. He can't play the game. Yeah. Well, then why would you be upset? Because obviously they'll be back. What are you worried about? Because they were that close to banking a third win that they are going to need before this is Skip over. Skip Bayless, okay? usually you're fond of saying this. You know, Stephen A., sometimes I think I know you better than you know yourself. I do. Well, that works two ways. Mm -hmm. I you disagree. You know, because we go back <laughs> so long. Let me tell you what I'm hearing from Skip mm -hmm. Bayless. I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing. I want you to pay attention to this, Molly. This is very, very important. I'm listening you understand what I'm Because Skip trying to hoodwink America. See, they don't know you how I know you. Let okay. me tell you what's going on right now, Skip Bayless. You're nervous because you know. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about nervous as in, oh, I don't have my horses. I'm saying nervous that even, that's even how you feel when, you, when they get back. Because whether Romo is there or Des Bryant is there, what alarms you is that you saw somebody that could potentially be a, a playoff team that's indicative of the kind of competition that you're going to get, go up against when it really, really counts. And you know that there were holes that were exposed in your secondary and you don't like it one bit. And as a result, Here's why Skip Bayless is feeling the way that he's feeling today. Forget this one loss. We understand that. Brandon Whedon, he played, he played a relatively good game. He was spectacular in the first half as far as I'm concerned. Stupid interception that he threw when they were up 21-7. to seven. We'll Changed occasion. the complete complexion of the game. Atlanta went right back. Hey, sure look, man, they were up 21-7. Atlanta went right back down and score. Devontae Freeman obviously went ballistic. We all know the story. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is this. You recognize... There's some holes in your secondary. You recognize more importantly than anything else. Like you started out saying, NFC East, fine. But you picked them to go to the Super Bowl. I did. And what and you I'm saw. With and what you saw. Yeah, yeah, but that's just emotion talking. That's no, just it's emotion. Not. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. That's your heart talking. Mm -hmm. That ain't your head talking. You know what's going on. You know what you've done to yourself. You pigeonholed yourself. You put yourself in a spot where you said that the Dallas Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. And you know what I know. What? That there's no way they're no going way? to the Super Bowl. Did they're we get not that on camera? Going. They're not going to the Super Bowl. You saw it yesterday because you know no matter when, no matter when Greg Hardy gets back, when Randy Gregory gets back healthy, even if Sean Lee Keep comes going. back, O'Leary's here, Mincy comes yeah. back, mm -hmm. you know in your heart of hearts that the Dallas Cowboys and that suspect secondary with Orlando Skandrick, who's actually coming on the show soon, you know, not today, but he'll be on here soon yeah. enough. I can't wait for a Dallas Cowboy to sit right there in that chair. It's going to be a fun, fun day for me. I'm here to tell you right now, you know what's going on here. You know that the Dallas Cowboys sitting up there getting ran on like that by Devontae Freeman, Julio Jones, looking like the best receiver in football, doing yep. what he wanted to do, when he wanted to do it, how he wanted yep. to do it, abusing, mm -hmm. abusing the Dallas Cowboys. You know yep. what's coming. You know that your Dallas Cowboys are going to go down. And like I said before, by the way, this won't be the last injury. You know, think about this for a second. All the things that I've said, this is football. 
and Sean Lee is going for a busted lip. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this up. This is the Dallas Cowboys we're talking I, I, about listen, here. Listen, I will admit to you, it's, it's, I, I thought he'd just stay in the game. I'm just saying, that, he's really, too bad. really, I did. really, stitch it up and go, go there just, when they're on just, offense. I mean, are you kidding me? Just football? swallow it. Oh, just football? Just football? Just football? Just I mean, swallow it. Just play. Right. I needed listen, it. Listen, listen. I just, needed just, it. I'm just saying. Suck it up listen, the it's, it's hilarious to me because you got Joseph Randall. It was nice to see him in the news for something football related. As opposed to stealing he draws, looked he, looked he looked spectacular. He looked legit. He, looked, he, he really did. But it's just beautiful. It's just four. beautiful to the see first. him in the news for football-related matters as opposed to his issues at department stores. It was very, very touching. So then you got that going on and Sean Lee with the bus. Hey, listen, deodorant and draws? Come on now. It's too funny. It's just funny to me. It's, it's just ridiculous. funny to me. I'm sorry. The Dallas Cowboys will find a way. Skip. You lost a game yesterday to some degree because Sean Lee decided to leave games, as you say, Labor Day, for critical stretches mm-hmm. because of a busted lip. Mm-hmm. Because of a busted lip. Mm-hmm. You understand? This is unbelievable to me. It, but it's the Cowboys, like I keep telling you. So once again, once again, proof has been provided to me that the Dallas Cowboys will find a way to get in their own way. They can accumulate all the talent that they want in the world. Somehow, some way, what can go wrong will when it's time. Dallas Cowboys, no Super Bowl. And that's why you're sitting up there looking all nervous and upset. Because you nervous. know, yes you do, you know, you know that the Dallas Cowboys ain't going to the Super Bowl. That's what you discovered just nope, Just admit it. Not. Just admit it. Admit it. I told you I was flummoxed by what happened yesterday, and I still haven't recovered from yesterday. Mm. But all I care about now is what is coming back. Mm. Because if, in fact, Greg Hardy had been eligible to play yesterday, (laughs) and Randy Gregory had been healthy yesterday, and Jeremy Mincy hadn't had some freakish concussion suffered Mm -hmm. in pregame warm-ups, hitting Ty Smith's helmet head-to-head, really? Do you know what would have happened to Matt Ryan in the second half? They're great against. Doing they this, are great. And doing actually, that, and they would have been actually, all over. Actually, they're great against the pass. They would not be great against the run. Devontae Freeman still would have done what he did. Okay, Matt Ryan was able to call dominoes at the, in the pocket yesterday in the second half, and mm. I couldn't believe it because they're usually not like that. That's right. Until I realized, wait a minute, Mincy's not in the game. What's going on? Rod Marinelli okay. pacing up and down the sideline, looking all flummoxed. Mm-hmm. To use yeah. your word, it was very, very cute. But once Mm -hmm. again, like I said, what really is revealing here in this segment, Skip Bayless is trying to gloss over the reality that he has finally discovered. Dallas ain't going nowhere this year. Yeah, they are. Dallas, they're going to playoffs like they did last year, and they're going to go home, Mm -hmm. just like they did last year. That's all that's going to happen. That's all you saw. That's all you saw. I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. What are they now? Are they 0-3? No. No, they're 2-1. and one. Do they have two division wins banked? Yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Did they come very close to banking another game and go to 3-0? and oh, Yes, they right? did. Now they have they to did. go to New Orleans yes, on did. Sunday night football. And they'll win week. that game, probably. Luke McCown, right? They, they should Maybe. beat Luke McCown. Who knows? They should Drew beat Luke be McCown. Back. I don't know. They Luke should, McCown was really he good He really looked Carolina impressive. Yesterday. He really looked good. It, I was it very impressed. It took an all-time great catch of an interception <laughs> by Josh Norman to save the game. So are they legit? But I don't believe in Rob Ryan's defense. I believe that when it's time for them to sink, they will. They're sort of like the Dallas Cowboys, except it's just on defense. Okay. Whereas the Dallas Cowboys are that way, period. Okay. What did you tell me last year? Three times on three, two, actually two Mondays and a Friday, you came in here and said, <laughs> Cowboys ain't going nowhere after they stunk up and laid an egg in their home opener against the 49ers. You said, would you get them out of my sight? I'm sick of talking about them. Then what happened after the Monday night game, so it was actually a Tuesday show, yes, yes, right, against yes. the Washington Redskins, when they blitzed Romo Silly and knocked him out of the game, remember that? And the offensive line looked like a sieve, remember that? Mm-hmm. And you said, Cowboys ain't going nowhere. And then Thursday, uh, the Thanksgiving game at home against Mark <clears throat> Sanchez, he ran and threw wild on them that day. Remember that? And on Friday, you sat right, we were actually both in New York City, but you said, they ain't going nowhere. 
And where did they go? They almost got to the Super Bowl. That's where they almost uh, went. I'm sorry. My definition of almost mm -hmm. is when you're in the conference championship game. Mm -hmm. My definition of well, almost it was a catch. Is, well, I'm saying, my you definition of catch, almost is not catch. applicable. Was it a catch? Well, no, yes, you said it was. It was. Thank it was. You. My they definition of almost is applicable to the NFC championship game. It doesn't qualify for the divisional playoff game. That's number one. And number two, and more importantly, as I don't mind regurgitating, I will do this until the cows come home. Mm -hmm. You keep through, you keep like you engage in selective yes, amnesia at this point. No, I just you point keep out talking the about the catch. Yeah, how much time was left? It was just about done. No, no, how much time? I don't no, no, know. no, no, it was a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, but he was hurt. Tell me, tell me, tell me. He was hurt. I believe, oh, yeah, and he, he was still doing that. That's everything. right, he remembers everything, but you don't remember everything. that. It's just funny. It's just funny. You forget that, but that's okay. okay. My point to you is this. this. Yeah. I am of the belief. I never once said that I did not think it was a catch. Mm -hmm. What I said was, I didn't care. It didn't matter because that would have given Aaron Rodgers the ball with enough time to do damage, mm -hmm. and he would have. No, that is what I said. On one leg, by the way. By the way, I'm glad you reminded me of that. He was. He, he beat was the hurt. Cowboys on one leg. He was hurt. On one <laughs> yeah, leg. Yeah, because the refs took the on game one away. Leg. It was the crime of the century. You know, walking you know like my boy Cardell, yep. sitting up in there throwing touchdown passes. Yep. Yep. That's what happened. They had already won at Seattle in the regular okay. season. They would have gone right back, right. and they would have won again and been in the Super Bowl. And this year, they will right the wrongs as they start getting healthy okay. and start getting their reinforcements okay, in. Okay. Watch what starts okay, to happen. Okay. I'm okay. just telling you, keep in mind, the regular season and all this stuff, I've already conceded that the Dallas Cowboys are going to the playoffs. I said that before, we, even when we made mm. our preseason predictions. Dallas Cowboys are going to the playoffs. What I said was, they will not go to the Super Bowl. Something will happen on the way, mm. and it's going to break your heart. They're not the San Antonio Spurs. San mm. Antonio Spurs lose a game like yesterday. They come back, and they win, and they win, and they win, even though well, you act depressed. The Dallas, I, I'm just saying, they find ways. Yeah. The Dallas Cowboys will not. Mm. They're not. They don't have that kind of makeup. Okay. Okay. just want you to know well, that. Well, so are you ready to say they won't make the playoffs? Because no, I never said that. I said well, they're not well, going to make the Super Bowl. Romo, no, no, yes, no, no, come on. No, no, have some guts. No, not at all. Well, you not have the courage not in your convictions. No, no. You can't shame them like that you and say they're going to make the playoffs. You can't change everything when I've already admitted to the world. I put on Dallas Cowboy gear for the week. That's pathetic. They won't make the Super Bowl. At least say they won't make the playoffs. Not at all. I'm having fun imagining the level of misery you're going to feel. See, when you just plummet like that, that's entirely different than when you go all the way up and then you drop. Mm. I want them to do that. Like a oh. roller coaster? It's coming. Okay. It's well, coming. Are, are you coming. nervous they're not going to even make the playoffs? Not at all. Not at all? Not at all. Not at all. Well, not at all. all that was for naught then. Well, you know, look at, look at I, that. You listen, know what? Listen. That makes me feel the, even in, better. Listen, in the NFC North, there's only Green Bay as far as I'm concerned, regardless of how Minnesota looked yesterday. In the, in the NFC South, okay, you've got Atlanta and you've got Carolina, so you got to play attention to both of those teams. I'll give you that. But then mm -hmm. in the NFC West is Seattle, Arizona. So it's a very, very good chance that no matter what, whether this is a division winner or a wild card, the Dallas Cowboys okay, are going to make the playoffs. Last point. I understand. I have told you my Cowboys, for reasons unbeknownst to me are often pathetic at home on the road though they have now won what is it up to 10 in a row on the road it'll end this year huh? they won't win every road game this year okay well you know what i'm gonna go on record in the playoffs mm -hmm. i want atlanta at atlanta i want it bad <laughs> okay. because this the, the story will be reversed you can want what you want yeah watch you can get what you want it ain't going to go to, it ain't going to end up with a Super Bowl berth. Yeah. I promise right. you that. This conversation isn't done because we're picking favorites in the NFC East. That's later when Eric Allen joins us. But you guys mentioned Carolina coming up. Cam Newton and the Panthers got a huge win over the Saints on Sunday in New Orleans. But the